It has been established, I think, that there are aspects of the UFO mystery that owe more to the activities of humans than extraterrestrials. But my purpose is not simply to show that human forces of some sort, perhaps the CIA, are hoaxing the populace into believing that the aliens are here and pose a threat to the well-being of mankind. I am hoping to provide a look into the purpose behind the hoaxing. There are strange clues that need to be examined in detail. These involve a tangled web of symbolism in the UFO mythos. That, fortunately, resolves into a single meaning. Trust me on this. As I cite each reference in this symbolic odyssey, I will try to distill the relevant images that will assist in forming a conclusion. That's from Chapter 6, A Symbolic Odyssey, in uh, Jim Keith's masterful Saucers of the Illuminati. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. I cannot help but notice in the news today that there um, continues a uh, campaign of massive suicide bombings in Iraq. Uh, and I fail to see this as being coincidental in any way. Uh, both of the following scenarios are being strengthened by this particular approach. One, that we, that is the United States people, need to be reminded constantly that there is still a war on terrorism around the world. Even though that war is completely made up, bogus, full of fucking shit lies, we need to be made to be afraid. And the actions going on in Iraq are designed to show us that these evil perpetrators are still out there. Even though we've pulled out of the cities, we still have a very large troop presence in that country. And uh, it appears that uh, there is a destabilization campaign going on in Iraq, even as one is unfolding in Pakistan. Now, we also have a massive uh, voter fraud election going on in Afghanistan with continued rounds of uh, bombing and supposed terrorist activity. Make no mistake. Make no mistake whatsoever. There is no such thing in my mind as terrorists in Afghanistan. There is no such thing as Al-Qaeda. There is no such thing as the Taliban. As independent terrorist organizations. All of these things were created out of whole cloth. Al-Qaeda created and supported by our own CIA as a foil against the Soviets whenever they attempted to quell Afghanistan. And the Taliban, once again, supported by the United States in that region for a time. Everything that is going on now was created, funded, and fucking planned by this fucking country, by the shadowy people that run the intelligence agencies in this fucking country. They brought it all on. They bought and paid for all of it. So there is no such thing as a war on terror. But you're supposed to believe that there is. And that's why we have the continued waves of bombing and supposed terrorist activity going on over there with Afghanistan crumbling, the government in disarray, and uh, the recent insertion of more troops there, and the possibility that as many as 60 or 80,000 more might go under Obama, the peace-loving president, the anti-war fucking candidate. Can't get more war hawkish than Obama. He's even more hawkish than George W. Bush. So, do not be fooled. There is no such thing as a war on terror. There is only the unending war of spreading the imperialism that is inherent in the embedded administration in this country. That is an imperialism of U.S. dogmatism around the world. We're supposedly spreading democracy. Nothing could be further from the truth. We are spreading an imperial agenda, and it is being driven by a global elite. It is not a national referendum. You have to understand, the government, the shadow government of this country, 
is beholding to a larger cabal, a shadowy worldwide organization designed to bring about world government. And we are merely pawns, perhaps the greatest one in the chessboard that is the world, the United States is, but still just a pawn in the game of global elites. And we're being used masterfully to bring about an end result. Make no mistakes about it. Uh, the other piece of news uh, is the lurching about in the Senate of the, of the health care reform legislation. Please, people, do not sit back on your laurels on this issue. Because, one, I do not want a fucking public option that is run by a private fucking insurance company. Period. Don't want it. If you don't want it either, you better tell the fuckers you don't fucking want it. The whole idea behind a public option is to have something that is different from the fucking private insurance companies. So I'm not going to have that. I do not want anything that is going to interfere with what is working now. That is, if you have... Well, this is, this is just barring the fucking impossible, and that is that they would actually do something really reformatory and adopt single payer, which is totally dead. Put that aside. For what we have fucking available to us. Do not destroy what's working now. If businesses are providing insurance to their employees, we should not give them an avenue whereby they could drop that fucking coverage and have all of those people now be uninsured. How much more so can the system be fucked up? If you're going to reform it so that then the people who are already covered are going to lose their fucking coverage because of some provision that you put in the fucking plan. We got to get it right. And if they're not going to get it right, there is another option. There is another option. That is to agitate for something completely fucking different. Cause gridlock in Washington, D.C. Cause gridlock. So they can't pass a fucking thing. If they can't pass anything, they can't jam it to us. If we can't get what we want, then agitate for the exact fucking opposite. So that you create total fucking gridlock and they can't pass a fucking thing. Because I'm not going to sit back and I'm not going to let them ram through some piece of shit legislation and say that they did something. No. And as far as all of the Democrats go, and anybody who's going to be running for office next year, barring vote fucking fraud, you motherfuckers better wake the fuck up. Because I'll vote for every other candidate besides you. And I'll do everything in my fucking power to get your fucking ass out of office. And you can take that to the fucking bank. So, fight for what you want. If you can't get what you want, fight for fucking gridlock and grind the whole thing to a fucking halt. They can't pass shit. They can't fucking stick it to you. You want reform? I want reform. Everybody wants reform. Let's get some real fucking reform. And let's open up a fucking dictionary and see what the fuck the word change fucking means. And let's have a little fucking bit of it, shall we? Thank you. Good night.